and gentlemen, my next guest is an actor you know from Amadeus, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and The White Lotus. His new film is The Magic Flute. I had occasion to hear your father sing several times, right here in these hallowed halls where we both got our start. He was a few years behind me, but I remember his powerful yet nuanced Figaro. Your father was quite the singer, but in order to achieve greatness, one must have discipline. And one must have rules. In any case, our Christmas recital fast approaches. The magic flute. Th that was actually my dad's favorite. Oh? Yeah, he said he always felt this connection with the prince, Prince Tamino. Oh. Please welcome to The Late Show, F. Murray Abraham. Thank you! <laughs> it's so nice. I've been a fan for so long. We've never had a chance to talk before. This is such a pleasure for me. I I'm gonna ask you about uh, the, the White Lotus season two. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> you were one of the stars. You called it the best job that you had ever had. Yeah. You're 83, and yeah. you've had a lot of good jobs. Yeah. Why was that the best one? Well, it was in Sicily, for one thing. But also, it was a great script. And uh, it was just... Uh, Everybody liked each other. It doesn't happen too often. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But, uh... And you're kind of... Was it during COVID? Were you guys stuck together? Y yeah. And then we had the whole hotel to ourselves. Oh, that's because it was off-season. But it was a beautiful place. And it was the, the cast, the crew. Everyone, like, lived there together. We, we ate together and we worked together. It be, I think it comes through the camera. We all really got along. Well, the, the new film is The Magic Flute. Ah. Uh. And... You've already said you're a fan of that opera yeah. by Mozart. Yeah. What, is it, what does you love about it? Because I have my own reasons for loving it, yeah. and I'll tell you in just a second, but you first. Well, it was sir. one of the early softras that I fell in love with. La Boheme was the first one, and then this was the second one. I think it's uh, one of the reasons I, I love this movie, I really do love it, is that it's a great introduction to a, a bunch of... a generation that doesn't know opera, mm. because it's like... Uh, it's the magic flute, and it's got real magic in it, mm -hmm. but also it's like a Harry Potter version of the magic flute. Mm -hmm. So we're going we're gonna to have a whole bunch of kids discovering opera, beautiful music. And it's, by the way, we shot it in Salzburg. What another reason I did it. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you ever pick a project because the location is great? It, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> And the script is great, obviously. <laughs> no, if the script is only mediocre, but it's in a great place. <laughs> <laughs> you still gotta go. <laughs> to go. Um, um, what? It, I don't know Salzburg. It's so pretty. I mean, it's really beautiful. But do you know that The Sound of Music was shot there? I did know that. I well, know that. it still is like one of the biggest uh, tourist attractions in Europe. I mean, right now, it's huge. Uh, and I didn't know that, but uh, it seems to me that uh, there's another big tourist attraction, and that was uh, Mozart's house was there. Mm. And because it was the COVID at that time, the, it yeah. was going around, there was no one there. I mean, the tourists were out. Sure. So I had the run of the town. Oh. It was great. <laughs> it was neat. <laughs> I had guided tours by the people who ran the operation. I felt like a really big man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you play a teacher and a headmaster in this film. Is yeah. there a particular teacher who made a particular difference in oh, your life? No, oh. I, I was a hoodlum. I was a. Uh, you were a hoodlum. I was. I was a hoodlum. Murray Abraham was yeah, a hoodlum. Yeah, El Paso, Texas. You know this, the, the movie I did, Scarface. Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually sounded like that character when I grew up. Really? Yeah. All my all my friends were Mexicans, and I grew up on the border, and. Uh, I was a bum. I was really going nowhere. And this teacher, Lucia Hutchins, like turned my life around. She said, "You should try this." Don't ask me why. Was you it an, an acting class or a was? It was a speech and drama. It was called. I took it because I thought it was easy. <laughs> was it easy? I tell you, man. As soon as I stepped on the stage, I knew where I belonged. 
it was like a gift from heaven. And it changed my life. I left the gangs and I, I just became a, I acted in a contest in the state of Texas and uh, I won and I got a scholarship, went to college. Do you remember what was the part? What was the thing that you acted to win it, that contest? It was, it was a one act play called The Old Lady Shows Her Medals. I played a guy with the Scottish accent. I can't imagine what that sounded like. But, <laughs> but let me tell you also, uh, the, the scholarship was $100 to go to college. Oh, those are the days. Well, I'm 125 years old. I mean, I <laughs> exactly. It was the first year of college that anyone ever had. <laughs> they, was, they weren't sure if it was going to take off. It was an introductory price. <laughs> you're actually, you're doing, uh, you're performing with the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. Yeah. When, when is that? That's going to be in, uh, in a week and a half, uh, 17th, 18th, and 19th. What are you doing? I'm doing some more Mozart. I'm doing the... Are you singing? Doing, what are you doing? I'm, I'm not going to be singing. I'm going to be reciting poetry with, uh, with that great conductor, Maestro Manfred Honeck. It's a great, great conductor. And we're going to be doing the Requiem. And it's, uh, yes, you know it. Hey. Mm. Just smarties, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I really look forward to it. I, I was born in Pittsburgh. And uh, I left when I was a little kid, grew up in El Paso. But I travel around a lot. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's one of the best things, I think, about my job, is that I get to see the world. And someone pays me. <laughs> well, speaking of, of, of Mozart, and specifically the Requiem, we have to talk about Amadeus for, for just a moment. <laughs> You, you, um, the, the Requiem is what he's composing when he dies, when your character Salieri essentially kills him through exhaustion, is I think the, the general <laughs> idea of the film. Um, you won an Oscar for your performance as Salieri. Here is, here you are. You haven't changed a bit, you know. Absolutely the same. I really... Where do, you, where do you keep the I Oscar? Really, I really miss my hair. <laughs> where do you keep the Oscar? I got to tell you, man, because the Oscar brought me so much, so many goodies, mm -hmm. he's appeared in every play I've ever done. Oscar All, has? Here in New York, on Broadway, off-Broadway, in Europe, at concerts. He always, he always has. And I, I give him to the stage manager, and I say, listen, uh, hide him on the stage. Not, so where the audience can't see them, but where the, where the, uh, the cast can discover him. And just for fun. That's a hell of a flex. It is. I got to say, no, oh, no. I'm sorry, did I put my Oscar in your scene? <laughs> I didn't realize he was there. I didn't want no, him to be really. there. He's been in trash cans. He's been in drawers, suitcases. He's been people in, open it up and they, your yeah, Oscar people is People get into bed and they go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> is that an Oscar or he's just happy to see me? There you go. Oh. Did but that's whenever that? you're on stage. Yeah. Every well, this is a Broadway stage. Where's Oscar? Where's Oscar? Is Oscar? Is Oscar here tonight? Are you saying he's he's? On? I'm asking you if Oscar is here tonight. I don't know. Mark, that's my stage manager. Is it somewhere out here? He says it is. It's somewhere out here. Do I? Is it out there? How did? Are, Okay, uh, do we do this Afi Komen rules that I, it's got to be <laughs> the youngest one goes and looks for him? Um, is there a trick to, may I? Are you I kidding? I'm not joking, hold on. No, hold on. Warmer? Wow, I, I will deliver him right back to you. No, it's all yours. Oh. <laughs> F. Murray, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I've never held one before. That's what she uh, may I pick him up again? There you go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 
F. Murray Abraham, best actor in a leading row, Amadeus. Damn. This is such an unlikely murder weapon. <laughs> no one would suspect that. And you could just put him in the dishwasher and get all the evidence off. <laughs> well, um, I'd like to thank uh, F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Magic Flute, which is in select theaters on Friday. F. Murray Abraham, everybody. We'll be right back.